Hello, this is Webley L. Webster, welcoming you to Bob Oliver and Ray Bulbum's new educational feature, Wisdom of the Arts. We have with us a panel of distinguished scholars who are going to use their wisdom, their sapience and profundity, to give you, the listener, something to mute about, to ruminate over, if you prefer. The first guest to my right is Roland T. Droff, a dean of wisdom at the Drexel School of Agriculture. Yeah, how do you do, yes? Sir, you don't have to smile particularly. This is just radio. Yes. Poet is Layla Levenstu's current book of poems, Rhyme on My Hands, is a glut on the market. It's not a glut on the market. The note says it was just put on the market. I'm oh, sorry. And lastly, Stats Van der Luden, who uh, used to study Sigmund Freud. No, I used to study Hans Christian Andersen. Uh, well, I knew it was one of those foreigners. Yeah, boy. But now, Pearl, it's time for you to philosophize, and I should like first to uh, look at Sarge Van der Luden. M- who's he looking at? Is Sarge he... Van der Luden. Oh, first. yeah, well, well, I believe it was Confucius who once said, uh, water can both sustain and uh, engulf a ship. Yeah, I think uh, Samuel Johnson said, nobody is always wrong. Even a stopped clock is right twice a day. Mm, yes. I'll always admire William Shakespeare for saying there's small choice in rotten apples. I would like to object to a point here. I think the poet George Burns once said, water can both sustain and engulf a ship. What insight the poet Shelley Winters had when he said, never argue with your doctor. He has the inside information. A memorable line from Shakespeare's comedy, As You Like It, was left. Uh, greases up the engine of worry, enabling you to slide merrily on your way. Ginger Rogers, in a moment of great oh, insight, well. once said, nobody is always wrong, oh, even a stopped clock is right uh, twice a day. I think it was Ginger Rogers who said that water can both sustain and engulf a ship. Charles Dickens knew from whence he spoke when he said the famous words, water can both sustain and engulf a ship. Wasn't it Kaiser Hoyt Wilhelm who said there's small choice in rotten apples? I'll always remember Rudyard Kipling's immortal words, nobody is always wrong, even a stopped clock is right twice a day. I have always tried to live by the words of J.P. Morgan when he said, put your money where your mouth is. He is, and he's a good singer, too. I think our time is about up. I wonder if I might just uh, add one note to try to clear things up. I think that several uh, quotations here is, is all confused, and I think we might have to rebroadcast this. As you know, this program, Wisdom of the Ages, is a copyrighted feature and cannot be rebroadcast without the express consent of the now defunct Continental League. Now, then, this is your moral word from what the L. Webster, changing in the words of Jerome Carpenter. Leave taking to the voice of Padme. Let us pass our class. Thank you. Goodbye.